the growing international trust on renewable energy, driving the course of clean energy transition across the globe, is a foregone conclusion. The foundation of this transformational journey was laid at the 2015 COP21 Summit in Paris, wherein an unprecedented 121 nations came together to fight for a common purpose, mitigating climate change. Ever since, India, under the visionary leadership of the Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi, has emerged as a global leader in its vision and actions to achieve climate goals and building a robust roadmap of sustainable energy solutions for the future. In his recent address during the third Global Reinvest 2020, Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi said that in the last six years, India has increased its installed renewable energy capacity by two and a half times and is growing at the fastest speed among all major countries. India's renewable energy deployment plans for the coming decade are likely to generate business opportunities worth $20 billion a year. We are showing to the world that sound environmental policies can also be sound economics. Our nation's approach was validated by a very recent Bloomberg NEF Climate Scope study that ranked it as the top emerging market for clean energy. Well on its way to meet its goal of 450 gigawatt of clean energy by 2030. Today, India is the only G20 nation whose actions have allowed it to keep its promised rate of decarbonization. A unique hybrid renewable project at Kavda, Kutch, Gujarat, initiated by the Government of India and the Government of Gujarat, is said to be the most ambitious and powerful stride in this direction. Kavra region was once a prosperous business hub in Kutch, Gujarat. It was home to a port, as well as many small-scale industries. But a nightmare hit its fortunes in 1819, when it was hit by a devastating earthquake that changed the course of the river. Industries collapsed and the region was left with acres and acres of barren, uninhabitable land. Worse, the region experienced another earthquake in 2001 and continued to grapple ever since. Over the years, the region has become extremely prone to earthquakes, making it very difficult for any kind of long-term infrastructural development. Sharing borders with Pakistan, Kavra region is a tactical base for the Indian Armed Forces, which too has continued to face the challenges of this difficult and arid terrain. While there are numerous challenges in the Kavra region, it also has two of the most important resources required for renewable energy generation, ample sunlight and one of the best wind intensities. After meticulous research, it was observed that the Kavra region is one of the few sites in India that is highly enriched with both solar and wind resources. And hence, it is strategically one of the best locations for setting up renewable energy projects with sunny and windy weather conditions for most part of the year. Considering these unique advantages and the fact that the land is barren with no utility, the Government of India, under the visionary leadership of the Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi and with strong implementation support by the Government of Gujarat, has come up with this innovative idea of setting up the world's largest single location hybrid renewable energy park. The envisaged capacity of this park is 30,000 megawatt, which is approximately 34% of India's total renewable energy installed capacity till date. This project will spread across a vast area of 73,000 hectares of land, which will be equivalent to one and a half times the size of Ahmedabad, Gujarat's largest city, and will use two crore solar pile foundations, 2,150 wind turbines, 1.4 lakh inverters and 6 crore solar PV panels. The construction of this renewable energy park will use 25 lakh tons of structural steel and 6.5 lakh tons of rebar steel, which put together will be equal to the steel used to build the Statue of Unity 385 times. It will use 3 lakh kilometers of cable, which if put together can be used to coil around the circumference of the earth more than seven times. The total project size will be approximately 30,000 megawatt, out of which 22,500 megawatt will be solar and 7,500 megawatt will be wind energy. 
The project will be built using latest technology solar modules, high capacity wind turbine, efficient AI based module tracking system and a lot more. This project will attract an investment of 1.5 lakh crore rupees which is approximately 1% of India's total GDP resulting in a push to the foreign direct investments which will eventually lead to better relationships with many countries. Once operational, this project will light up millions of households in India with cleaner and greener power, accelerating India's journey towards bettering its pollution index numbers while rapidly moving towards its target of producing 450 gigawatt renewable energy. Over the next 25 years, this renewable energy park will displace 50 million tons carbon dioxide equivalent each year, which is as good as planting 88 million trees per year. The project will also uplift the local communities by creating more than 10,000 direct jobs and more than 75,000 indirect jobs using more than 4 lakh man months during just the construction phase. An infrastructure project of this magnitude will also revive the small-scale industries and local businesses in the region while boosting allied infrastructure like roads, bridges, water access, hotels, schools, medical centers, etc. highly benefiting the locals as well as the Indian armed forces. All of this will add immense value to India's energy security goals without any kind of displacement using a barren piece of land that was since ages uninhabited and unutilized. This project is a groundbreaking initiative by the government and will have many fold benefits both directly and indirectly with ripple effects across various industries and sectors. It will also uplift communities, bring a plethora of opportunities for the people of the Kavra region while helping India overachieve its renewable energy goals that Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi has committed in COP21. And India will set a global benchmark.